I do the Mindset Podcast and I try and get people that are like-minded individuals, people that are extraordinary, people that are living their life, pushing things out. And it seems like what, you know, I love the flavor of your cookies. And so I wanted to find out about your story on sure. how you ended up developing the cookies and sure. where you're gonna be taking this. Sure, man. Thanks so much. Well, thank you uh, for giving me the opportunity to actually speak to, to, your, to your fan base and to you for supporting the cookies. Well, I'm gonna tell you a little story about myself. Um, I've been baking for over 20 years now. Uh, my family has been in the baking business for 50 years. Uh, we started by creating uh, different hospitality snacks, and I ended up creating My Protein Bites, which is now a nationwide brand, brand with uh, 10 flavors to pick from. Uh, it's a gluten-free uh, cookie made with oats, uh, almond flour, I mean, sorry, uh, almond milk, eggs, brown sugar, and butter. Uh, the reason why we created this snack was to create a value to the people that like to eat something sweet but do not want to have the calories. So I wanted to create value by creating the snack that anybody can have at any time and not feel guilty about it. Uh, one of the benefits that we have is that we grind our own oats and me, myself, I'm the R&D baker behind the brand. So we take uh, a lot of pride in using uh, top-notch ingredients. So that way that people, when they try our stuff, they know that it's top-notch stuff. I'm sorry. Now, where can people get a hold of you? Oh, uh, well, right now you can get them in all the Amazon platforms, GMC, Smoothie King, soon to be in Vitamin Shop, Circle K, 7-Elevens. Awesome. Okay. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Thank you so much for, for the interview. And uh, definitely, man, when you guys have something that you guys want to do in life, you guys just have to take it for what it is and don't listen to anybody because everybody's going to tell you that it's not possible, that, that it's hard. But you know what? If you're in your comfort zone, you're not going to change. You have to be willing to change yourself to be able to change everybody around you. So you have to be able to change you before you change everything around you. That's the only little message I'm going to leave with you guys. You got to be willing to change to be able to change everything around you. I, I have one question I want sure. to ask you. If you can go back to the 20-year-old self yes. and the knowledge you have right now, what would you tell your 20-year-old self? I would have never stopped to throw stones at barking dogs. All my life, I've thrown stones at every dog that barks at me. And what I mean by say, to say that is that I waste too much time listening to drama outside of the world. Don't listen to the drama. Just take it for what it is. You guys are special, and you guys know what you need to do. God bless everyone, and keep it going, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man.